Today I have um, like a luncheon to go to with my mom and some of her cousins. So I'm getting ready for that. Um, I just blow dried my hair as you guys saw. My hair was already dry. I actually washed it last night because um, I did like a whole scalp treatment with the Acton Acre Cold Press Scalp Detox. It's been amazing. Um, so I did that last night. So I just smoothed out and blow dried my hair. That's usually how I use the Revlon Styler. I don't use this as a blow dryer. Um, I use this when my hair is pretty much completely dry and I just smooth out my curls and smooth out my hair basically. So that's the best way to use it as a hairstylist opinion. Because it gets so hot, use that as a way of smoothing and styling rather than blow drying just so you know because a lot of people complain that kills your hair which it does if you're using it on soaking my hair i don't know how i'm doing my hair yet for the week usually because when i wash it i don't wash it for a while afterwards so i am just gonna i'm kind of put it up in a clip and i'm gonna figure that out in a little bit but i'm gonna get ready for the makeup end and do all of my makeup for the event today and i'll show you guys the products i use now i like to switch up my products a lot so i get bored and also i'm a makeup artist so you're always trying something new okay so normally for the daily um for makeup i like to use the glossier stretch concealer this is one of my favorite products um it's so nice on the skin and I just literally put it where I need it and it looks like I have no makeup on. I love it. This is generally what I like to use most days um, because I literally wear like little to no makeup every day now. Today I'm going to use a combination of the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer as well as a little bit of the Ilia Concealer which I love. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use this. And I only put, I only use concealer on my face. This is probably something a lot of you know. Um, I just really only prefer concealer. I don't really wear foundation, so I just apply concealer where I need it. Turning another light on. Okay, so yeah, I have a luncheon to go to today with my mom and her family. It's like, I think just the girls are going. I don't think there's any, I don't know if it's a women's luncheon. I'm not really sure. My mom just bribed me to go with her, <laughs> basically. But I'm gonna get ready for that. And I figured why not vlog, share with you guys any products that I've been loving lately for makeup and hair and all that. And I'll show you guys my outfit. So today is Sunday. I'm not really doing anything else after today. I'm just gonna go over to Steve's parents afterwards and I think we're just gonna have dinner with them out and chill so I figured this would be a fun little vlog to show you guys me getting ready and all the products I love and this sponge is just a real technique sponge I actually buy these in like bulk and I will use them on like specialty clients where someone where I'm spending a lot of time with them because um, then I'll keep their sponge for them throughout the entire process of being with them normally I if I do like a commercial job, I'll keep it for the actor or talent, whoever it may be. I'll have these in their little pouch. But I also stole one for myself because <laughs> it's a good sponge. I like it. I like to do cream contour. Actually, I don't really like the contour. It's more just like a bronze, but I put it in the spots where I contour too. Um, I normally love the Charlotte Tilbury, what is that, like the contour wand? that like tube I love that but it's always sold out and I can never find it so I picked up the makeup by Mario what is this medium dark soft sculpt and shaping stick I think yeah it comes with a brush on the other end I don't really use the brush I guess on the go I could but I like to use my own brush when I'm able to and I just dip the brush in and then blend it on as a like bronzer contour Hi, baby. Hi. What are you doing, honey? <laughs> what are you doing, baby? Are you coloring? Yeah. Yeah? 
my niece has one of those watches that you can call on. So she calls me a lot. <coughs> Josephine Rousey, you hang up. <coughs> what are you doing? <coughs> what? <coughs> Coloring book? Okay, so real quick, I just applied my Laura Mercier powder, and then I applied the I applied the iconic London bronzer, and this is in the shade Ultimate Bronze. Glossier Cloud Paint. This is in the shade Dusk. I love this color. It's like a really pretty, just corally, everyday kind of color. Um, and then I put on the, I don't, I've never really heard of this brand. It came in a boxy charm, but it's the Pinky Rose. I think it's an eyeshadow primer. I'm not really sure. I just kind of put it on my eyes. So yeah, I just kind of put this on in my eyes as an eyeshadow primer, and it literally keeps my eyeshadow on all day. So think it's one I'm not really sure I'm gonna go ahead and glow my face just a little bit not a lot I'm using the Dior what is this the Dior backstage glow face palette this is in the shade universal I'm just putting a little bit on my face this is not the best makeup job ever it's honestly like a really fast makeup job <laughs> I like to use this pink shade in here. Sorry, the bronze one's broken, but I use the pink one and I put that on my cheeks a little bit to get me a nice glitter. I have this Illamasqua palette. Um, it's the Unveiled Artistry palette. Actually, really, really, really good palette. Um, it's got a bunch of different neutrals in here. So what I like to use is basically this row of neutrals and I just kind of dip into a bunch of them and spread it all over my eyes. I don't have a pretty way of doing any of this. I swear my own makeup looks worse than anybody else I do makeup on. So yeah, I just kind of spread all of these colors on. And this is a Morphe M513 brush. It's like a little bit of this white shimmer shade. But just a little in my inner corner. Then I'm gonna do my brows. So what I do for my brows is I take the Patrick Ta Brow Wax. I use the tinted shade. There's just two, tinted and untinted. So like one's clear, one's brown. This you can honestly use on pretty much everybody. It doesn't gear just for brunettes or dark hair. So you literally could use this on everybody. And I just take a spoolie brush with some setting spray sprayed onto the wax and I just brush my brows in place where I want them. You guys can tell my brows are going nuts because I haven't trimmed them in forever or really done them. So I just brush them up and then kind of position them in place. So spray the wax with some setting spray and then brush them in place. Let that sit for a minute. I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Brow Blade. This product is amazing, first of all. It has two different ends, a like pencil coloring end, and then also has a felt tip end. I like the felt tip end most of the time, but I still use the other one for certain occasions. So when this is a little bit drier, I'll go in and just fill in my brows and shape them better. All right, so now my brows are done. I'm gonna go ahead and put some mascara on. This is the Tint Lash and Brow Duo. This came in a boxy charm too, but it's pretty good. So I'm gonna put that on. You guys, this pregnancy too is like ruining my eyelashes. You guys know I have like the greatest eyelashes in my opinion. I love my eyelashes. They're usually so long and thick and luscious and 
I have like no eyelashes right now. <laughs> I get lash lifts and tints, but I've had them done before many, 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 many times. And I've never, it's not the lash lift and tint that's done this. Um, it's literally pregnancy. My brows are weird, like everything is weird now. So I have like crappy eyelashes now. I don't know what's going on. Okay, we're done with the makeup. I'm gonna do my hair in a minute. I just need to figure out what to do to it. I'm feeling lazy today, so we're straightening. I don't wanna do anything else. Oh, also I already applied a heat protection when I blow dried and I also re-spritzed before I did this. I just sprayed in the Defiaba Pro Heat Speed Shield. Before I use any heat products, I always do that. You better too, just saying. Gisu honey infused hair oil. Just to nourish my hair and I also like to put it right on the ends. Keep those nice and hydrated. Also one of my tips, especially if you're someone who doesn't wash your hair every day like me, um, you know, even if you use dry shampoo or whatever, always remember that when you go to bed at night, try to run hair oil through your hair, like through your ends. Keeps your hair hydrated and shiny and healthy on the ends while your hair is still getting nourished on the top from the oils, from your natural hair oils. So always remember to do that. It'll keep your hair nice and hydrated and not so dry and crispy. I'm up in my room. I had to figure out what to wear for this event. I literally have no idea what I wanna wear. And then being pregnant makes it like 10 times harder sometimes because you literally do not know what to wear. Oh, okay. This could be cute. It's like a really, really, really soft material. That could be cute. Or do I want like a gray sweater? This is the worst thing ever. I hate picking out something to wear. It's literally the bane of my existence. Okay, I'm starting to like this outfit more and more now that I look at it, but we even have a little bump coming through for this look. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm dressed. Um, it's always the biggest struggle getting dressed now, being pregnant, because I just like literally feel like I don't like anything or I can't find anything that looks good and like fits good. It's just a struggle, but I'm always determined to like still come out with like a really cute outfit, you know what I mean? So anyways, I'll show you guys my outfit. My room is now a disaster. So I'm gonna have fun cleaning that up later. Um, there's literally hangers everywhere i just literally could not figure out what to wear but i'll break it down for you guys real quick and then i'm just gonna wait for my mom to come pick me up she is she actually just got a new car too so i'll show you guys that she's so excited she calls it the batmobile <laughs> or the batwoman mobile um so i'll show you guys that but first let me show you guys my outfit just have on so like i just showed you guys i'm just gonna style the blazer and like call it a day. I might even like tuck my hair in for like a chicer look inside the blazer. But um, I just popped this on. This is from Kittenish. I did get this in an oversized size, actually pre-pregnancy, just because I wanted it as an oversized blazer. And you guys know I love oversized clothing. So it just works. It's like a nice casual little option, but you can also dress it up at the same time. I even wore this to work yesterday, believe it or not and dressed it completely up but today i'm just wearing it with jeans so you guys can see it in a more casual image you know what i mean so i just have a long sleeve tight shirt on underneath this is from old navy jeans are also from old navy and if any of you are pregnant or going to possibly have babies in the future um, or anything along those lines want to gift someone something for pregnancy Old Navy maternity clothes are so good. Like I am so happy with them. I have, 
I think like three pairs of jeans from them in three different styles. So like a girlfriend ripped style, skinny pair, and a black pair. And honestly, they're the best jeans. They fit so well. I've tried ASOS. I've tried um, like actual maternity lines and I don't like any of the other ones. Old Navy is the best. But unfortunately, you can only find them online. So highly recommend. Um, so yeah, jeans are Old Navy. Bag is from Amazon. It's just like this quilted black bag. It's supposed to be a little dupe for, what is it? It's supposed to be a little dupe for the Bottega bag. So that is from Amazon. And then my shoes are Zara as well. They're just like some Chelsea boots with a little heel, pointed toe for an added flare. And yeah. I also just have on some like simple jewelry, nothing crazy. It's basically my everyday stuff. Um, Ana Luisa earrings that I literally never, these are literally my everyday earrings. Um, since the day I showed them to you guys a while ago in some vlogs, still my favorite earrings. These ones have been gifted to me by a friend Nicole, so I don't know where these snake ones are from. And then Uncommon James necklace, and this is a gift from Steve. So, yeah. Oh! <laughs> look at her, look at your ribs. Look at the Batwoman mobile. Check it out. Wait, you have to turn the music down or else I'll get copyrighted. Oh, this is cute. They have red detail. Yeah, and that's how you like turn it out. Oh, like everything's red. Even like in the holes in the seats. What? Oh. And then look. We can, Wait, what kind of car? Is it's it? Apple Wireless, so you don't... Oh, have... Mob! Look at that sunroof! I know, I sport Do you like it? I love that. It kind of reminds me of your last car. But it's like... My mom's on the car, so I feel like I can say this, but does anyone else feel like their mothers make things a little bit extra stressful than they need to be? My mom is literally trying. Well, we just did it, but we still have to be somewhere. We have to be at this luncheon at one o'clock. It's 1245. And my mother literally insisted on going to the grocery store for my grandma at 1230 and bring it to my grandma's house in time. She stresses me out. She always tries to do the impossible. We don't need to do it right now. Can you guys see my tired mommy lines already? This baby doesn't let me sleep. Okay, now home. Um, the luncheon went good. It was like a luncheon to benefit the church. Um, Chinese auction, so I won some stuff. But now I'm gonna change because we're gonna go over to Steve's parents and help um, kind of go through some stuff over there. So I'm gonna change real quick and I'll show you guys my cozy outfit, I guess. Okay, sun's like blazing through this room right now. But um, I'm just gonna be super comfortable and cozy for this. Um, like I said, we're just going over to Steve's parents for a little bit. So I just threw on this flannel jacket from Zara I got last year. Um, so many different places make these now though, so you can definitely find them somewhere. Um, if Zara doesn't have it, I'm pretty sure they probably don't, but love me a good jacket. And then I just kept on the same long sleeve and you guys see the mess? Now I have to clean it up tomorrow. Um, and then I'm just wearing a pair of sweats and then I'm just gonna wear some Air Force Ones with this and just kind of call it like a little cute cozy look. Cause I ain't trying to impress anybody. <laughs> just trying to show you guys my little bump little bump going on <laughs> she was kicking so much during the luncheon because they had like ice cream for like little treats after lunch and i ate too because my mom's cousin was gonna eat hers and i was like you can't let that go to waste it was just a scoop of ice cream so it's not like it was that bad but <laughs> after i ate it if i eat any sugar she's like wild she's crazy so she's cr kicking like crazy at that but i'm gonna go downstairs and put some powder on my face my face is so shiny right now i've been left in the car so he can go to home depot but you know i'm cool with it because i don't really enjoy going into home depot unless i'm picking out like paint samples or something any other wives or girlfriends feel me like home depot is just not it 
I don't enjoy it. We should have got the Tim Biebs. You're a Tim Biebs. We're Tim Hortons. If you're, wait, where is Tim Hortons? Huh? Is it only Canadians and it's Buffalo? It's not really north of Philly. Oh. I don't even think I think it's Detroit in. has them. Like if you're near Canada? Yeah. We're at Tim Hortons. So if you have a Tim Hortons, then you know. But did anyone try the Tim Biebs? Justin T. <laughs> Justin T. no different than regular Timbits. No, Justin Bieber came out with his own Timbits and they're, they're special flavors. It's not like they put his DNA in it. It's still Timbits. But they're special flavors. They're okay. like cakes and like, I think one of them's like Funfetti or something. They've had that. Oh. I gotta look it up. I'm gonna get a Tim Beeb next time I'm at a, I'm at a Tim Hortons. <laughs> He's like, stop. Do you love me so much? So much. <laughs> Ooh, this is hot. Oh boy, you can't even touch the cup. Usually a one cream, isn't it? 